Hey guys, what's up y'all? It's uh, Tony here, also known as I am Furico, and uh, I'm going to give a go to another game from uh, the backlog. Uh, this one is Azura's Rat. Uh, I have not played this. don't even really remember buying it, but I uh, hardly did. And uh, it looks kind of interesting, I guess, from uh, the stuff that's going on here. Um, quick bit of research I did and it says that um, there might be quite a few cutscenes and things in it so I'll do my best to uh, shut up during them but um, yep let's let's uh, let's get going and see what, uh, what this is all about. Uh, it does not exist. Yes create save data. Thank you so as you can see I'm playing on the, the old 360 Checking for downloadable content. I actually picked all that up because uh, let's let's do a full playthrough. So wow, it's really taking its time checking. New episode is alive. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Got that. So spoil you guys. I've gotten gotten all all the things. So um, we can look at look at everything that's going on. I guess. Sir difficulty normal, that's fine. Audio, we'll go with English. You might change it to Japanese if it's really, really terrible. Subtitles on, information prompts on, control settings, I'm sure the default is fine. All that looks good. Alright. Let's get into this. New game, here we go. Alright, uh, we'll go normal. Start the game on normal, yes. So let's see what we got. Save successful, okay. We have a big mountain. Foul and pure beasts that roam the land, the Goma. In order to save civilization from a never ending threat, the demigods who governed the world created an ultimate weapon that would wipe the Goma off the face of the planet once and for all. Their legions were led by eight elite demigods, the eight guardian centrals. General Azura was in the thick of battle. One of them, General Azura, was in the thick of battle. Okay. So, Azura, that's us, I'm guessing. We're in space, on a spaceship. Did not expect that. I will happily admit. Press start again. Okay. Shoot these guys. Maybe the meteors. I don't really know what's going on. Whoa. Okay, I can do. Yeah, X rapid fur, I got that one. Why is lock on fur? Oh, there we go. Quick time events. Interactive opening sequence. I like that. Oh. Hang on, am I getting hit by these things? Oh 
Okay, so I kind of... Real Trooper is not really what I was expecting, I admit. Okay, here we go. Not sure what I was expecting, really, to be honest. Okay, we're rotating around. Oh, we're gonna smash it into that. Fear not, brave warriors of Shinkoku. Our long struggle against the Goma shall come to an end tonight. O powerful demigods, purge our world of the impure Goma. The life-giving mantra is one Okay, we're blowing some stuff up. It's all good. Faithful people of Shinkoku, offer your prayers. They will become mantra to aid us in battle. Tonight, the impure have defiled and scorched our land. But it is we who shall live to see tomorrow's light. Legion of demigods! Heed your priestess's words and purify our land once and for all! Let us offer Gaia the greatest blessing in the name of Emperor Strahd. May the mantra guide you to victory. Oh, we're back. I think that dude is with me, although he's kind of in my way a bit. So it was throwing a few characters at us there, an emperor, a princess. There's General Vivan or something. General Yasha. With His Majesty's power, you shall be reincarnated in a golden paradise and rejoice in prosperity for all eternity. Ruthless scum! I'll kill you! Okay, we're back to this again. Achievement for doing something there, I think. 
kind of nice. Okay, it's a load of explosions. How beautiful life is at its end. True beauty only manifests itself in death. Another general. You two should be concerned for the task at hand. And another. Olga, sometimes I wonder if you may need her. Have you forgotten that I am most concerned when the beauty of destruction is before me? My strategies are flawless. There is no need for us to be on the front. You need to sit back and wait on the victory. How you two became generals is beyond me. Commander Davis, sending reinforcements directly to the front lines. How such as this to bring temporary peace or needless waste of time. Huh? Prepare to fire the Brahmastra. The Brahmastra? But Commander, it is not yet fully charged. In its current state. stuff happening now. Okay, so it's basically a big ion cannon. The Brahmastra. But why? Why not? It shows how serious we are about winning! Behold! It is Vritra! Uh-oh. Big dude coming. Okay, and that is our introduction, so I guess we're going to fight that big thing now. More cutscenes. said, mostly try to stay shut up during my uh, the cutscenes. So this is what it's basically been like a real shooter type thing so far. With some quick time events. Too big. 
business. Decimated there. Asura. Did I miss that one? It. Stuff is still happening, so maybe you're all right. Priestess. Basically, turn into gorus. This war ends now. So, so far this is completely bonkers, absolutely over the top, ridiculous madness. I like it. I am liking this actually. It's just absolute craziness. This is only the intro by the way. <laughs> just started playing. <laughs> it's no like super mega final boss or anything. Still alive. What troubles you? I could not kill it. No one can kill Vlitra. You should be grateful you were able to subdue it. We have suffered more casualties than ever, but it will not be back for a while. You should rest. Due to General Asura's efforts, Litra has subsided.
may Shinkoku prosper in everlasting glory! Okay, episode one. <laughs> the game starts now. <laughs> oh, that was episode one, maybe. Okay, so we got an A, so we weren't completely crap. Um, that's good. So, yeah. Not sure what to expect from this game. I am liking it so far. It's over the top. It's crazy. It's bananas. Super fun so far. Let's keep going. Okay. New achievements. Yada yada yada. Alright. Um, next. Completely cut animated cutscenes. Uh, short interludes between the episodes are between the episodes are displayed to further explain the story. Okay, let's look at these. Um, okay, we have to scroll. Karma Fortress, Juice Chambers, Juice Chambers after the battle with Goma Vitra. Um, next. Carlo, congratulations, Commander. Once again, and succeeded in suppressing Vlitra. That means nothing in time. It'll be back and pose an even greater threat than today. Vlitra, Vlitra, that vile beast destroying it will be more troublesome than I had anticipated. And who would have thought that Helian Azura would be the one to quell it? He even managed to outperform August. That was only possible because he had the aid of the priestess. Right. Ah yes, his daughter Mitra. We might very well owe our victory solely to her. The priestess proves to be more useful than Emperor Emperor Strada himself. Perhaps I've said too much. Hmm. Har harnessing our power will be a vital step in achieving our cause, our glorious and noble cause. Um, indeed, her ability to amplify mantra is quite remarkable. You would never guess that mindless brute to be her father. Hey, stop insulting my dude. Um, I suggest we intervene for the priestess's sake. He is a potential danger to our plans. Not just yet, he can still be useful to us. Okay. So, three out of three, so this is the last bit. So, for now we must concentrate on completing the Karma Fortress. As well as finding out a more efficient way of accumulating mantra. Without that in trouble. Rest assured, Commander, I have already devised a plan for it all, including the Priestess. Very well, proceed as planned. Failure is not an option. Failure is never an option. Priestess Mithra lent her power to the Shinkoku army, and all of Gaia rejoiced at the victory over Vlitra. But this time of celebration did not last, for in the shadows of victory, the wheels of betrayal had already been set in motion, one that would shake the very foundation of Shinkoku. All right, let's go to next episode. So the lads are definitely going to betray us. Almost definitely. <laughs> That's a nice looking city. Okay, Azura's residence. Azura being us. Azura! Father! <laughs> You're safe. I am. Welcome home, Father. Thanks. 
General Osura. The Emperor summons you. He awaits your presence in the throne room. I wonder if he's going to present you with a medal for defeating Vlitra. She's right. You mustn't keep the Emperor waiting. All right. Hmm. Azura has done all right for himself. The wife ain't too bad. Oh well, we're still getting credits. Dead. What? What is this? Frame job? Insurrection! Treachery! Treason! I didn't do it, lads. <laughs> General Arthur has gone mad! Treachery! Traitor! No! There must be some mistake! I don't understand! What the hell's happening?! Okay, part one, suffering. Sounds fun. of your lives! I shall purify the likes of you myself. Damn you! Release! Okay, I'll be lock on target. B attack continuous. Why heavy attack? There we go. Oh, I missed There we go. Alright, so this this is kind of fun little beat em up uh, combat. Okay, and well, we've some quick time events mixed in. And there we go. We dealt with that easily enough. And I will leave the wife alone. <sighs> Still got it in you. Let us cut to the chase. I'll kill you myself! Yeah, I don't see a life bar or anything, but we're getting our ass really well kicked. We got him. Okay, so that wasn't too difficult. Durga, be safe.
It's poor form, lads. I guess this is where the raft part of the title is going to come in. Save her. I will save your strength. Some lads, I guess. Mithra! Mother! Get out of my way! Listen to me. We move! getting any option to do anything about this. Gonna drop us off a cliff. Jerk. Freeze her. That's really going out of the way to make Azura angry. I said let her go! Oh, we were in space. I will have my vengeance! Okay, so that. City was on a spaceship, I guess. Alright, we got an S. We did good. New CG art. Okay. Fantastic. Concept art. 
Great. New video. Um, next. Alright, so episode 2, Betrayal and Vengeance. Uh, from the myths passed down by generations of humans far and wide, the evil demigod who fell, fell from the heavens. Long, long ago there lived eight legendary demigods. Okay, so I guess that's the generals were one of them. Uh, they were known as the Eight Guardian Generals. They led the demigod legions against the impure Gohma, bringing peace and prosperity to the world. One of them was black of heart and had ambitions of his own. His name was Azura. Ah, now lads, that's not what happened, really. Selfish with his own aspirations, he turned against his kind and struck fear into the demigod race, taking the life of their emperor, Strata. It was a dark time. Black clouds cloaked the sky, unpenetrated by the sun's rays. Plants and trees all over the world withered and died. Humanity was overcome with grief and sorrow. Aww. Then, just when it was believed that all hope was lost, seven pillars of light poured down from the heavens and the remaining seven guardian generals appeared. Under the command of the great du Juice, <laughs> Juice uh, they fought heroically against their brother who betrayed them and avenged their emperor's death by sending Azura to his own. Tensfort? Rather than Hensfort? Interesting. Tensfort, they became known as the Seven Deities and they watch over the humans from the heavens. Labeled a traitor, with his wife killed and his daughter taken from him, all he has left is his wrath. Refusing to die, Asura awakens in a strange world. There, a small mysterious spider appears and begins to guide him, spurring Asura to make his way back to his world. Alright. Spider. Um, yes, go to the next episode. Episode, even. Oh, and it gives you a little, uh, some credits at the start of every episode. That's nice. <laughs> well, that's no good of a place to be. So, Helen Gaia. Awake at last, are we? Where am I? Well, this is Naraka. But I won't bother explaining because I doubt you would understand. So for now, let's just say you are having a bad dream. Who are you? Good question. Not the right one. The right question would be, who are you? I... <laughs> Start climbing then, I... However, I would be careful. I trust I need not tell you what would happen should you fall. <coughs> okay, don't fall. That's it. Up you go. Yes. There is a reason why you must continue to climb, isn't there? Interesting place. You may have forgotten why, but the flame inside you still burns. That's it. Keep going, Asura. Asura! These are our enemies. The impure Goma. Let's see what you make of them. I never said stop. Okay, 
Okay, every heavy attack causes Azura to overheat for a period of time. Heavy attacks cannot be used while it's overheating. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that was absolutely terrible. <laughs> Attack. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, we missed. Okay, it doesn't have that big a range. That's quite easy to miss, actually, that one. There we go. Okay, after pressing A, he'll be uh, jump attack. Okay, that's fine. So why to execute a special attack while the enemy is down? Special attacks cannot be executed whilst overheating. Already. This dude. Azura can recover directly after being hit by pressing A. Recovering reduces damage and allows Azura to quickly get back into a fighting stance. Okay. We, got it all wrong. we didn't get that right anyway. Again. Uh, we'll figure it out. Come on. Jeez, it'd be useful if everyone could hit me. That's all right. We'll we'll get the timing down. You've got it all wrong again. So I think I'm I think I'm going too early actually on it. You've got it all wrong. You've got it all Maybe wrong. not. Again. You've got it all wrong. Again. Okay, I just dodged that with that if I go too early. You got it all wrong. Again. Come on. There we go. Alright, so it's actually a decent bit after. A bit more than you'd expect after actually. Okay, press RB to evade. Okay, 
Press the correct on screen prompt right before the enemy attack to execute a counter attack. No problem. Hopefully he's still alive. I'm sure he is. Okay, so counter attack is just press the button. Flying Don't dudes. get distracted by multiple enemies. Concentrate on one at a time. That's it. I right, sent you another target. That's it. That's the spirit. Okay, great. Now, how do I deal with them dudes in the air? I never said all battles would be up close. Knock them out of the sky. Oh, hold X for rapid fire. Awesome, I didn't know I could do that. Uh, during rapid fire, use the left stick to move the reticle. Okay. Oh, that's interesting that we can... So we can shoot as well, awesome. Use rapid fire. Okay. That's it. That's the gun. Ha ha. Not bad. I don't see why I'd want to stop shooting. I never said stop. That's it. That's the gun. Boom boom boom. That's it. That's the gun. Ha ha! Not bad! Ha ha ha! There we go! Now it's my turn. Prepare yourself! Ooh, fight time, is it? Let's see how you do against your own master. Inflicting and receiving damage, uh, damage increases the unlimited gauge. Once this full unlimited mode will be activated uh, by pressing LT, automatically activated in easy mode. Alright, so we want to keep an eye on that gauge. Ah, crap, that was a waste of a heavy attack. It's a big gauge. Uh, is that full enough now? No, it's not. Them heavy attacks. Okay, unlimited mode. Azura's strength is increased and he cannot overheat. Alright, so spam heavy attacks, I guess. That's gone. Um, inflicting damage upon enemies increases the burst gauge. Once it's full, burst can be activated by pressing right trigger and unleashing a devastating attack. All right, so that's the um, the, one, the other one, the one down the bottom. That's fine.
Pressing away at the exact moment increases your synchronic rate for Azura and get... Okay, achieve high enough rate and get something. Uh, that's bad. Oh, we got most of them. <laughs> all right, so they gave us the tutorial. That was nice of them. That'll be all for today. Okay, very good, so I haven't really made <laughs> much progress there, especially given that tutorial is optional. Um, Destroy him! Asura the traitor! Destruction! I assume there's gonna be a good bit more to the episode. <laughs> Probably should be using my um, We can do this. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> ah, this is outrageous, I love it. Just curl up and die right here. Shut up. Hmm? Oh, what's the matter? Have I angered you? Not you. Not me? They're crying. Crying? In Naraka? There is nothing to hear but the sound of my voice. Oh, 
Okay, and up we go. Big explosions. What the? Your world, Gaia. Twelve thousand years have passed since you were here last. But that's nothing to a demigod like yourself, now is it? <laughs> is, this is this how you save the world? This place looks like hell. Okay. See? Yeah. I think them grades are a bit harsh actually because I guess you get a better time score if you skip the tutorial. Alright, so that's episode three. Um next. Let's let's uh do episode four and then maybe I might uh well we'll see how we're doing. We might call it a night. We might we might go as far as episode five, sure. We might go crazy altogether. We'll we'll see how we're doing. Okay, a barren land somewhere on Gaia. The Golden Spider says, What do you think? It's become a tad desolate since you were here last. I can hear thunder in the distance. Can you see the lightning? It is as red as blood. Hmm. So you remember. Yes, the great threat, or the threat of the Goma still remains, even now. Curious as to what your former comrades have been doing. Hmm, over here, have a look. Ah, stuff. This looks less hellish. They let the Goma... Not quite, this is the work of your own race, the demigods. What? They now have control over the world and do as they please. That can't be. Well, it appears to be. A lot can change in 12,000 years. If you don't believe me, why don't you go see for yourself? I suspect I will. First, I'm going to tell you to shut up. Oh. There's that famous Azura Anger. Well then, this world shall be your playground. Awesome. After a long slumber, Asura awakens on Gaia. 12,000 years have passed. The world he knew was no more, yet nothing had changed. The struggle between the humans and the Goma continued to rage. As Asura witnesses the Goma attack a village, a familiar face appears. Yep, let's go to the next episode. We're looking a little bit rough. Okay, no control, we can walk around. Not sure which way really we're supposed to go. I suspect the other way. Oh, my God. 
Old friends, new enemies. They're all speaking Japanese. I guess it's Japanese anyway. Not a problem, I can take care of this guy. Those guys. It's actually struggling a bit here. That drop on frame rate. We fairly well kicked ass though here. What's this? The sip tip for your minute? I don't know. The guys seem happy anyway. Okay, we have purification troops. So, you have returned. Yep, I'm back, baby. Back from the dead, impure demigod Asura! We shall send you back to the shadows of death, along with the Goma! I don't know, this combat is kind of stupid, but it's fun. It really is fun. Okay, so I guess we're going after the big ship. All ships, prepare for purification. Purify! All ships, release Amaya! Uh -oh. What the? What a lucky turn to find the traitor here. Rip him apart! Wake up, Patrick! Okay, 
Okay, let's run away a little bit. I guess that blue bear is my life. I don't have much reason to be too concerned about it just yet. Okay, let's do this. This seems to be going. Oh, there's a big thing. I was gonna say this seems to be going all right. Goma Crusher, dirty level 680. It's a big elephant, basically. What the hell are them things? Okay, that seems fairly dead. <clears throat> no soul shall fall into the hands of the Goma. They taken souls for themselves. What Lord Deus spoke of was true. It has been a while, traitor. So I guess we're going to fight that guy. What Lord Deus spoke of was true. It has been a while. Traitor. I never actually thought you would be foolish enough to come back. Who are you? Do not tell me you have forgotten everything. How could you forget the great Wizen? Wizen? Open your eyes, traitor! Kneel before one of the seven deities! <laughs> the seven deities? Guardian generals who knew only war are no more. We seven deities rule and maintain order. I have an option here to shoot him up, but screw it. How pitiful. We got an achievement for that awesome. have become so sullied. That you cannot even comprehend words of purity. Feel my wrath. <laughs> okay, we have a dodge button. We're probably going to want to use start using that. So another thing we can do is blast away like that. Oh, 
want this. Hurt the bitch. Some of this jazz. Okay, we got our time and fairly nailed down. Probably want to get after him, do we? I don't know. <laughs> ah, he's gonna come back. Uh oh. <laughs> Shit, it's just gotten serious, I think. <laughs> Still big boned, mate. Witness the power bestowed upon us by our priestess, your very daughter, Mithra. My daughter, Mithra's power. What did you do? Tell me what you've done with her! You will have to make me! To be continued. I don't end it there, lads. <laughs> okay, B on time. A on battle points. S on A overall. Eh. Alright, we got a load of stuff. <laughs> New achievement, shut up, Faison. <laughs> I don't know, they made that practically irresistible, didn't they? <laughs> uh, next, we're gonna have to continue, we can't, can't leave it there. Okay, so let's see what we got here. The Shinto meeting chamber. It seems Asura has returned to this world. You don't say. Preposterous. That's impossible. Impossible is nothing. It actually sounds like fun. Silence. He is nothing but a speck of dust in the past. Indeed, our power then was nothing compared to what we are capable of now. To think there was a time when we had to actually exert effort to purify one large goma. Oh, how pitiful, how pitiful we all once were. How shall we proceed, my lord? If it pleases you, I can depart immediately to purify him. I've already sent Vizen. Let him take care of our old friend. I can imagine the look on Azura's face now. He hasn't the slightest idea how powerless he is against us. We'll see, lads. We'll see. Haha, <laughs> I think you'd be surprised. Explain. There are no guarantees in battle. Nothing is impossible. Now one of the self-proclaimed seven deities. Wizen is intent on sending Asura back to Naraka. His power is more terrible and fearsome than when he served as one of the eight guardian generals. His power threatens to crush Asura. Um, yeah, next episode.
we're we're gonna fight the big dude. Probably might call it a, a night after that, but we're gonna fight the big dude. <laughs> of course we are. <laughs> I guess it cycles through this stuff back over again in case you're coming back into it. Tell me what you've done with her. You will have to make me. No problem. I will. Okay, yeah. L stick to drag over reticles, white lock on, more lock ons you have, the more powerful blast will be. Okay, got it. Fast. <laughs> Obviously, the way forward is to counter them with Y. Okay, I think I've got this. Got this fish figured out. Blast that ship out of a jet. Wonder should I even be shooting at it or am I just wasting my time? Oh. 
I don't know, we got it anyway, I guess. Yeah, I should have poison. Poison won't be too happy with that. Boosting. Things have escalated a bit. <laughs> Asura the traitor, Asura the destructor. You do not belong in this world! It's gonna give me the... The poke with the finger? The cheek. The absolute cheek. That's... No, 
we're still alive under there. You traitorous fool! No. It wasn't me! I had decided what? to save What is this? What great rebirth! Father! Mithra! Deliver. Your death shall be the foundation of my new world. remember and he's getting mad. <laughs> causing him various annoyance and poke him in the eye or something to kill him, but that works. <laughs> Why are you here, Asura? Do you even know what you want? You have already failed once at living. You are a fool. Next time, do not come back. To be continued. Probably launches into another fight against uh, another dude. Hollow victory, so be on time. I have some battle points, awesome. I have some synchronicity rate or whatever, so... Hey, overall, we'll take that. Six armed, Farja, Sura, cool. Holy Despair, six armed Yoke, Vizen, Gungan, Vizen, and the Septentrion. That's how you pronounce that, I guess. Episode 5, Hollow Victory, and new achievements have been added to extras. Did I get an achievement? I didn't notice if I got an achievement. Or maybe I did notice, I don't know. Um, next. So we'll do this little bit uh, before the next episode, and yeah, this thing, and uh, we'll jump, I'll probably call it, uh, no, not probably, I will call it a night there, and we'll jump back in next time with the next episode. So the Shinto meeting chamber, impossible, how could Vizen have lost to him? He's brought shame to the seven deities. In all honesty, I'm not surprised Vizen was the weakest among us after all. Hmm. He lost the moment he believed that size equals strength. So I guess we're going to fight all them dudes, really. Uh, so Kalkrow, in any case, the real problem is the fact... ...is the fact that fat idiot wasted a significant amount of the mantra. An amount that took us so long to accumulate. That fool. Her cause will not waver because of something as trivial as this. Minor annoyance, sure, for the lads. Who cares about the cause? I will kill him for fun. So Argus is talking to talk. Not so fast, a large goma has appeared on the surface. With poison gone, I need someone to handle it. 
then have someone handle it. I only follow what my blade thirsts for. Oops, while well you two were arguing, Yasha went after Azura himself. Hee hee hee. Heh, that could be fun to watch. After the defeat of Wizen, Asura's old rival Yasha appears. Ever calm and collected, he outmatches Asura in every regard. However, Yasha says something that ignites the fires of rage within Asura. Alright, that's pretty much it. Next time on Asura's Wrath. Um, but to return to the main menu, guys, I am going to call it a night there. Thanks very much for hanging out as always. Um, Asura's Wrath, it's a bit bonkers, but um, it's quite fun. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's crazy stupidness. Uh, what can I say? I love it. Um, okay, so, Shine, that's all for today. Uh, I'll see you next time. All the best. Bye.